Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing my baby sister's hair, you guys. So I know you guys have not seen her in like a year and a half, but she is visiting me for half of her summer. So y'all already know I had to get her right. So she showed me an inspo pic of what she wanted. She wanted like some Senegalese twist in the back and some cornrows in the front. So that is what we are gonna be doing. So as you guys can see, I started by parting her hair from ear to ear um, because I am going to be doing the twist in the back and then the cornrows at up front so as you guys can see I'm putting some shine and jam on her parts because you guys know the shine and jam really helps to make sure that her parts are really nice neat and very crisp So my baby sister actually surprised me y'all she said she wanted some color so this is the first time that we're adding any color to her hair ever so this is the outre expressions hair in 52 inches it is pre-stretched hair and it is in the color bu and basically what i'm doing for this y'all is i'm first starting by plaiting the hair about one inch and then once i plaited it about an inch i start to do the senegalese twist so with this method y'all i'm doing like a rope like twist so that it can be super neat and super intact. So I'm pretty much rolling the hair before I twist it so that it can be um, like a rope-like look. And then I'm doing that all the way down. So I'm starting with the plait first just so that the roots can be a lot neater. And then I'm going down with a twist. You can start it with the twist if you want. It'll still be neat if you do it that way. But y'all, it's just so e much easier to start with the plait for me. And then because she was also going to be doing the cornrows and the twist, I felt like, you know, she can get away with it by me doing it this way. So I wanted her to have more of a peekaboo look, y'all, because, you know, this was her first time getting color. I didn't want it to be, like, overwhelming, you know? So I decided to do three rows of color in the back, you guys, and it was just a really, really nice twist to her hair, and I just kept doing the same method. So I am... As I said, platin it first, and then I am proceeding to do a rope-like twist. So in order to accomplish that rope-like twist, you do have to twist the hair individually first, like roll it in your fingers, and then do the twist so that it could look really nice and neat. So as you guys can see, I am done with the back section. I really like how it turned out. It's really cute. And for this section of her hair, I did use a less than one bundle of hair. So I did not use a lot of hair at all to accomplish this back section. And then now going into the fourth section, you guys, and now I'm going in with the pre-stretched hair. I got this hair from the beauty supply store. So this hair is called Easy Braid. I got it from the beauty supply store. It is 52 inches as well and it is in the color too. I'm going to see if I can find it on Amazon and link it below. If I cannot, I'll just link something that is similar to it below just so that you guys can have a direct link to the hair. But for this part of her hair, I'm doing the same method. I'm going to be doing the same method throughout for the back which is starting with a plait and then doing a rope-like twist. In order to accomplish the rope-like twist, as I said before, I you do have to roll the hair between your fingers first before crossing the hair for that twist. Okay, okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna get up, she's gonna bully. 
All right, y'all, so we are moving right along to the cornrows section of her hair. And y'all, this section is more of a freestyle type of section. I literally was like, what am I gonna do for this section? And I literally just started braiding and just doing whatever came to mind. So for this portion of her hair, I did some small braids, I did big braids, I did some zigzag braids, I did some crisscross braids, I did a heart braid. Like I was just doing whatever came to mind because that, what she wanted based on the inspo picture that she did um, send me. Also y'all, for this portion of her hair, I do wanna mention that I just braided her natural hair just to kind of give it more of a natural look. I didn't feed the hair in until the end, right? So I braided her hair all the way down. And then once I got to the end, that is when I added the caniculon hair and then that is when I twisted it up. Then, when was the last time you had no worries? Since you had done the hangbog charger, done the y'all so now it is time for me to do her edges so this is the even new york 24 hour edge tamer and then i'm just taking her edge brush and i'm just doing some swoops at the front of her hair just so that her hair can look a little bit more polished for the finished look all right y'all so this is the final look don't play with my baby okay so we did a little heart at the side um, as you guys can see, we did some crisscross, and it's just so neat. <laughs> Look at my baby. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this is her hair, you guys. I love it. It's so cute on her little pretty face. Um, it's really, really neat. As you guys can see, here's the color in the back. You know, we ain't doing too, too much for her first time getting color. And, yeah, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye-bye.